Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies and your extended reading for this morning's reading. Now, I was, this morning when we were doing the readings, I was looking at these two lovers cards and I thought, yeah, there's there's no block, okay, because one is how you are and the block was a lovers card. This deck, um, the Star Spinner Tarot has four different lovers cards. You can pick the one you want to leave in the deck. I leave them all in the deck because, well, if you put them in there, I'm leaving them in there. So, the two cards came out at first, and I, I I, did mention that love is not a block. It doesn't matter which kind of way, but it can be a block. So I decided to ask Spirit to please clarify um, what they would say about this block, and it gave me the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is like stagnation, waiting, impatience. So this could be a situation or a situation where you feel there's harmony. Like, let's say, I'm going to give you an example. doesn't mean it relates to you. Uh, you want to go a certain path. You are in love with somebody who is not of the same page. You are holding back because of them. Okay? So this would be a block. Love is what you feel, but love is also, your love for somebody is the block. Um... That could be an application for some of you. I'm not going to hold it to all of you. I just feel also that the Four of Cups right here is you're still in your final decision pattern because, of course, this week is about preparation, okay? Um, for this week when we did the monthlies, you got the the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords, which help you can move on a new path. So you're helping yourself, these preparations that you're doing, deciding what to keep, what to take, is helping you prepare for the journey that you're going on. So this also applies, okay? So whatever way you want to take it, we have many Pisces here with different situations, um, there's definitely a new path, okay, for you, one way or another. Um, some of you have people in the way, some of you do not, okay? Some of you, it's not, it's not that hard for you to do, okay? It's not that hard for you to walk away at this point, which is good. For some of us, a little harder, okay? So, I'm going to clarify the first lover's card, you, what you are, what your situation is. I'm using my highly modified tripping weight tarot. I don't believe it's available anymore on Etsy, unless they brought it back. Oh, I know why they're delaying me. I wanted to, to pull a map of the oracle. Uh, the map of the oracle was to indicate, because I like the word map on it, because I feel that this is a new map for you. It's a brand new way of going, a brand new way of doing. So I'm going to pull a card for you out of this deck. Yeah, there we go. That feels so much better. Okay. Spark. Beautiful. Seven, right. Seven. Assessing. What do I take? What do I keep? What's good for me? What's bad for me? This is this is really what that is for me. Plus, I love this spark. That's what I was saying when I was feeling, when I was talking about it, is that this, let's say, um, let's say you are preparing for a trip and you're packing the car and you're packing your suitcase. This is sparking that joy of movement, that joy of that new journey, okay? Not saying that some of you are leaving, maybe. Um, I'm not saying that's all there is. I'm just talking is that the movement forward is sparking, is is putting, it's, it's lighting the spark that's going to light the flame to get you going. It says there's a spark of creativity in you, and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, uh, start a new relationship or job, or begin in any endeavor. Attraction as high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn into a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. And this is what I felt as well with the lover's cards when I was reading them this morning. I felt like it's love and love again, okay? It's either you falling in love with yourself and somebody falling in 
in love with you, whatever that is. There's a lot of there's a lot of great love there, okay? It's working for you, not against you. Okay, so now we'll start. There we go. <laughs> All right, moon, right. Your intuition is playing a lot in this, yes. And the moon is also different sides of the coin, okay? It's, um, it's, it can mean intuition, or it can mean um, a reflection of the sun. In other words, it's an illusion. So there's the two different things going on here with these lover's cards, and that's what it's trying to tell you. Okay, that's what Spirit's trying to say. That there could be varied situations when it pertains to love. Love can unite you. Love can tear you apart if it's a different kind of love. Okay, not a giving, I'm with you type of love. It's more of a manipulative, why are you changing when this wasn't in our plans type of love. Okay, so there's different situations to this. Okay. I'm just going to leave that there. Some of you are going to resonate with this. Some of you are not. Okay, whatever you are in your life, this is still movement. This is January. It's a time to move. It's a time to um, decide where you're going and go. All right, so um, at the top is the strength. What's at your crown? Let's see here. I do believe I saw, yeah, the Three of Swords. So, seeing the truth to move on, having strength. Okay, so this is this is what I'm saying. There's some kind of movement forward. You're seeing the truth and you're moving forward. The Three can indicate something of matters of the heart. It can also be the matters of just deciding that whatever has not suited you, you're done with it. And now, strength is standing beside you. You don't actually need the strength, and I said that this morning, I felt that. You don't need the strength to move forward. You feel it within you. You have it beside you. It walks with you. So you're able to do that. Okay? You're able to finally do it. Your eye is wide open. It, you know, they can't, they cannot they can't shut it. They can't shut it. You're, it's opened. You're seeing the truth of everything. Alright, so at your foundation, you have defending yourself and believing in yourself with the hermit. You've done enough inner work that you don't need... You're, you're through it. The people are gone, okay, in this card. There's no people. There's nothing there. Usually in the seven of, of wands, there's people there, there's there's wands. The wands are behind you. They're not in front of you. You're not battling them. They're behind you now. Right. Yeah, you've healed that part. You've recovered from this. From this energy of defending yourself all the time. You've recovered from that. You're rested. You know what you want. You've healed. It's zen. You know, you're listening to your music. You're happy. You're well. You don't need any of that anymore. Okay? You're, there's a certainty about you now that doesn't need for you to defend anything that you do. That's the important. You have the spark. You have the idea. You've decided. Okay? You say, I'm not completely sure where I'm going, but I'm clear that I'm going. That's that's the thing, you know, wherever you're going. Whatever whatever you've decided. In the past, that ace of coins. You decided that you were planting. Yeah, you decided with the, the knight of swords, you were going like, I've decided. I'm planting something new. You're saying that's not going to work? I don't care. I know it's going to work. Okay, it's going to work for me. You're willing to forego the, the, the consequences. You're, you know, full, full speed ahead towards that coin. I'm, I'm putting that in the ground and it's going to happen. You took the lead. Stand up and take the lead. Okay? So right here you have the moon again. This intuitive energy coming through. You have what's coming up. You have your intuition, you have the magic, and you have the launching card. You've decided that's that's where I'm going and that's what I'm doing, right? That energy, that ace of that ace of fire. That spark. Right here. There's that spark. That's right there. 
you decided that's where I'm going, that's what I'm doing, so sorry. If it doesn't, you know, appeal to you, oh, you know, <laughs> oh well. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I wish these cards would stay on the table. Ugh. Okay, so, how are you going to present yourself this week? As somebody who knows exactly what they want, okay? I like this card because I feel that it's seeing the two sides of the coin of the same, okay? You know who you are. It's almost like seeing, I know, I know the, the shadow side of me, I know the light side of me, and I love every part, and I know where I'm going, and this is where I'm going. I have wisdom. I have ancestors' wisdom with me. I have, um, I'm going for my pot of gold, okay? That's what people, like, that's what you're going to present to people. I'm going for it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going for it. Okay? People may be very envious of you at this time, Pisces, because the ones who haven't decided to move forward and are still stuck, they may, they may just, they may wish they had that courage. Okay? Remember, though, to be kind. Remember that it's okay. See, they're going to feel stuck. This is, okay? This is what others are seeing. I'm stuck, but I'm you're leaving, and I'm still stuck here. Right. They'll see you as growing far beyond where they are. Okay? These beautiful ripples of energy getting out of the, the web, getting unchained. Yeah. I know, like I said, some may think that this is an evil. I don't feel that. I never, I never do. When I look at this card, I feel like this card is, is freeing themselves. Not only did you get out of the chains, you, you, you sprouted some wings. Maybe you stole the devil's wings. Who knows? Okay. You said there's a way out of here, and I'm gonna find it, and you did. I, I really feel this card is freedom for you. Freedom to make your wishes and happiness come true. Whatever that is. And it doesn't necessarily mean money, even though there's a lot of coins here. It could be very much a financial decision that's going to pay off. But it can also be just something that's going to bring you a great deal of wealth internally. Okay? Your body, your happiness. Your hopes and fears. Again, that's seven, that's seven of swords, right? You have the King of Pentacles. It wanted to come out, so I took it out. So I'm going to take another one, because I feel that, yeah, right. What did I say? Your past not sure, but you're clear that you're going, right? I can't see a better definition of the fool than that. And you know it's going to lead you here. The King of Pentacles, you know? The guy who has it all. I mean, look at the grapes, okay, on him. Look at the lushness. Look at the rainbow. He's got everything, okay? But them, okay? That's your fear. It's, it's the energies around you, okay? I'll say it could be colleagues, could be parents, could be... Mates, could be kids, could be anybody, could be friends, could be acquaintances, all I know, okay? But there's something, there's that energy there of people who are seeing you that are still stuck and feel like that, okay? Pinned down to the ground. Um, you don't want them to feel that way, but you have no control over that, okay? They can follow you. They can do the same as you, Pisces. Everybody has a choice. And... They may feel like they don't, but they do. We all do. And until we decide that things are bad enough for us to move forward in a different direction, there's not much we can do. And you can't stay there and drown with them, okay? I'm going to say that again. I know as painful as it is, you can't do it for them because they might pull you down with them. Okay, so the outcome is... The Seven of Swords, which I said at one point with the King of Wands, you've decided, I'm not staying here. I'm taking off. I've had enough. Okay. 
We'll see what Spirit has to say about that. Just a skirt. You're going to weigh it out. You're going to look at things from all aspects. But the way is clear. You have that sword here. The way is clear. Okay. Your way is wherever you're going. You're going to take off. Like I said, unclear path, middle of the night. Um, not unclear. The path may not be sure, but you're still clear. You know in the direction you're going, okay? And you're going to take the lead in it. And it's going to work out for you. The Justice card is about finding that balance. And that is what Spirit is saying in this last message. You know what you got to do. It's clear as the arrow here. You've balanced everything out. Your rainbow is waiting for you, okay? It's everywhere, this rainbow. It's waiting for you. It's time for you to start your journey. It's time for you, your preparations are clear, it's time for you to move in that direction and I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Ace of Swords. Clear. It's clear. Okay? Yeah Pisces. Your time. Your time to shine. Your time for clarity. This is what you're working on this week. You're, you're clearing the way. You're packing the chariot. You're doing last minute things. But you know. You know. It's like knowing what you know before you know it. I know this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. It may, may not be for you. You may not like it. It may not feel right for you. But it is definitely... Uh, my decision. I'm going to pull one more of these here. Okay, and again, a spirit has told me um, this doesn't apply for people who can, uh, that depend on you, as in, you know, vulnerable people. You don't leave vulnerable people behind. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there because I, yeah, you know. You know what I mean. Children, cats, you don't leave stuff, you know, don't leave people like that behind. It, it, not that I feel I need to clarify that, but I'm clarifying it anyway. Right, making a choice. I can't, 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 can't. You're making this choice. You're making it for you. You've decided. You've picked a door. You know where you're going. Okay. This is you in preparation. Okay. This is you in preparation. And they're saying it doesn't much matter which door that you're taking because you're... The thing is, is they're both kind of nice places. If you look, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. doesn't much matter because it's your choice. But you're making the choice. That's exactly what this is, okay? This is all about this. This last part right here, this is you making the choice of taking off. I'm picking, I'm choosing me. This is what you're saying. I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing my hopes, my dreams, and my wishes to come true. Okay? I'm going to be the prince, princess, unicorn, whatever the heck you are in your own fairy tale. You are going to be the lead, not the support in your in your life. You're choosing the road. You're not aimlessly following somebody. You are making the choice for you. Very profound Pisces. Okay? For a lot of you there, I feel the decisiveness of the decision. You have decided that this was for you. Okay? You have like concretely decided and I for a lot of you I haven't felt that I think 
that many times. We always have a little niggle of something. And even here you have a little bit. Some of you will be struggling with this part. I feel that a lot of you will not be struggling with this part. You've already made up your mind. You already know. Even if you've told everybody, well, haven't decided yet, in your head, in your heart, I can hear you saying, yeah, I already know. So, just hold on to that, Pisces, okay? Your journey is going to start, and trust me, uh, it's going to bring so many experiences in your life. It's going to make you a lot fuller. It's going to teach you so much, okay? Regardless if you come back to square one or not, it's going to teach you so much. It's going to expand you. Your mind, your knowledge, your repertoire, so much. It, there's going to be so much added to you over the course of next year, uh, uh, this year, next year, yeah, next year too. Okay, I think up to, what, 2024 or 2025, I see for some of you. It's going to be quite the ride, okay? So just hang in there. Have a great Great week of planning, putting things in place, um, clearing out, you know, emptying out that closet, making sure everything's clean in there, and and whatever needs to be left for somebody, leave it there. Whatever you need to take, take it and get rid of the rest. Make sure that everything is the way you want it to be, so that you leave with a clear mind and a fresh start in your head, okay? I'm sending you lots of love light and strength that you don't need because obviously you're just walking beside it but uh, it's a beautiful fresh new year a fresh new day for you fresh new week and uh, I wish you a really really good one as always I will be back tomorrow the new moon in Capricorn is going to help you step up and take the lead so hang on to that and um, yeah I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. I have nothing more to add. I feel complete here. Um, love, light, blessings. Take care.